Sorry, my phone died. Um, but not sorry. I actually needed to. I'm gonna take this bitch ass crocodile. Fuck it. <laughs> this crocodile ass jacket off me quick. Um. Comfortable. Taking all these bitch ass joggers. Getting my fucking shorts. And now. I'm right at home. So I need to be and should be. So anyways, um So I was talking about elaborating on that um on that show from yesterday. It's on the charger, so it's gonna be in this it's gonna be in this funny ass angle. Um it is what it is. Or it is what it be. Um I don't even do part one, part two videos, but I have to now. <laughs> I got a good feeling this is going to be a long one. Okay. So I'm not going to sit here and necessarily uh, thank that. Something is supposed to go a certain way when something is actually in actuality it's supposed to go in a completely different direction. And I'm not going to stay here and, um, you know, say that it wasn't that way and it's not these challenges in the, in the way of my way <laughs> for a reason so that I could grow through it be stronger through it and really start to uh, understand why these things are occurring and what is what the connection is so that I could transmute all of it and actually use the energy for what it is and put it in a broader light really broadcast it to you and show you what it, what it is exactly I'm talking about and actually going through um, in reality so, one thing I'm certain of is that there's lots and lots of different reasons for doing things. So, initially, when you start to actually practice certain things you've been speaking upon, there's going to be a transitional warp gateway you actually got to walk through. And when you're walking through this gateway, when you're actually on the front and center line stage, I'm really making this shift and you're creating on top of all of that and you're, and you're not being um, somewhere where you're not accountable for what you do, then you have all of the responsibility on your shoulders, pulling you up. Not weighing you down, pulling you up. Big difference there. Because when you're getting out of something, when you're making a shift and a transition, you have lots of reasonings, you have lots of ways to make the connection, to make the, sh to, to align it with what you're creating. Because what you're creating isn't separate from what you're transitioning through. And what you're, what you're making the shift from and out of. And into a new space. Into a new reality. And it's going to take all of the different parts of you to align with... Um, with your new reality, of course. Um, and a lot of times you are going to find that making this shift, being in the space where you need to be in, is going to require you actually traveling there astrally. And you got to take your body with you. 
So being being in no thing is great and all. But if you're not taking your body with you, then what's the point? Um, you're supposed to take all of yourself with you to this new space, including the body in which you manifested and created with the help of God, which is which is something you're a part of. So this show, along with other shows, are not necessarily <clears throat> the end all and be all of what's actually taking place. Um, because intuitively, and you being in your space that you need to be in, it doesn't have anything to do with these, with these external factors, with what people outside of you are trying to align you within and through. Because the entity I am is solemnly, completely detached from what the summoners want me to emulate and um their stories and their rigid uh factory written and installed procedures for me to follow through which have nothing to do with what i've actually already um manifested and created just my life just as my life but a lot of times they'll take the knowledge in which i attribute and apply it to these these uh, timelines and these storylines they want me to follow through. Uh, and, wa and they want everyone else to believe that that's what it is. It's not. <laughs> because all of that has to do with a bloody, a violent, a um, very demonic and rigid storyline. <laughs> it has nothing to do with reality. And it's just, it's just a story. It's just a story that's created. And you can use these things as great um, astral traveling. Uh, uh, I wanted to say reflection, but reflections, but really they're just, they're just, uh, they're just external spaces that's been created. Um, and you, because <laughs> I know I'm here to make my own everything for everyone so that just like the other archangels are doing just so I don't have to <laughs> be a part of their uh, their storyline anymore not that I ever was but um, following through what they're pointing to is always reminding me of what I have been speaking on and making reality for a while now and it puts me in that space to where i'm reminded of certain things um certain energies that just make the make the travel connection you know astrally speaking so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up uh didn't even think i had to make a really short part two of a video but You know, you have to uh, you have to come back to the basis when you're gonna realize that being a chosen one <laughs> involves you being yourself and creating your own reality. That's it. Don't think of anything else. You're gonna be all right. It's gonna be okay. Everything that's in your way is just a spiritual battle and a hurdle that you're going to walk through and battle and get to the other side of, regardless of what anyone feels or thinks. Peace, love, and enlightenment. Be well. Be more thou. Um, yeah. Sticking to the duality for now, but this trinity is coming. She's coming. Damn right. You have everything you need. You have everything you want. Just don't forget that. And keep yourself accountable.
You almost there? Almost there. Motherfucker, you were almost there. 